and we will be supporting uh, this uh, um, fund uh, for both the racing and greyhound uh, industries, although I think the concept of a greyhound industry is a slight misdemeanor in, in, in qualification as to what that is, uh, because really it's, it's more a hobby. Um, but um, we do so with a lot of qualifications, Minister. And the first one, uh, I'm going to speak to both uh, horse racing and greyhound racing. The first one is I don't have confidence in the IGB. I haven't had confidence in the IGB for years. Myself and the Alaska Hirlick had them in front of the Public Accounts Committee. It was a circus, absolute circus. Not much has changed. Some of the people are still there. So one thing at the very outset here. Uh, last week, uh, we wouldn't have supported the Social Democrats motion. However, we could not support the government's counter motion because it was effectively written by the IGB, who we don't have confidence in. I implore on you, and I've never done this with yourself individually, please look at the board of the IGB for all of us, because it needs complete overhaul. And I know you've so much going on with COVID and uh, Brexit and everything, but the IGB needs a more hands-on approach from the uh, government. Um, in relation to uh, greyhound industry or the greyhound people, many of whom are working class people, greyhounds are their, are their horses effectively. They're some of the most decent, honourable people you'll ever meet. There are some bad eggs. Um, they need to be weaned out. And I think the comments associated with a board member of the IGB in relation to our colleague here, Deputy Holly Cairns, are absolutely disgraceful. And that doesn't give any racing, greyhound racing industry a good name. I presume the board and yourself are going to deal with that matter. She can speak for herself, but that, you know, can't be making comments like that, no matter what one's view is in relation to uh, any sector. Um, the issue of welfare is something that's very important. Um, the idea that 10% of welfare is actually going to welfare is not happening. That'd be 1.5 million at least. That's not happening. Transparently show me how that is happening. I want to say one thing to you, Minister. I actually don't compliment British authorities in relation to much, but actually a Greyhound Trust needs to be set up and separate from the IGB. Can have IGB board members on it to have crossover, but keep it separate. The volume of Greyhounds who need to be, that need to be rehoused is much larger, larger uh, than what is being uh, spoken about. And there's one centre, I know where it is, it's in my own county, there needs to be about 15 to 20. And that needs to be rolled out. And it's when they are rolled out uh, that people can see the progress has been made in relation to welfare uh, for greyhounds, which really needs to happen. And I know many people who work uh, with greyhounds who are actually very active in this and have put proposals to the IGB and put proposals to the previous minister that were never acted on. And they need to be acted on because this is a central issue. People can't mistreat dogs. There has to be a proper system in place proper welfare system that is funded. It's absolutely critical. And also, in relation to the funding that the IGB do get, the volumes of it that come down uh, to the ordinary uh, man and woman who work in the Greyhound area, that doesn't transpire. And that needs to be dealt with as well. I have a whole range of issues relating to the IGB, relating to how they do their accounts, historical issues relating to the Indicon report, um, the whole issue, issue of liquidising assets. And I don't want to see, you'll know about this industry, I don't want to see a number of other racecourses getting liquidated to actually ensure current funding can go on. When you're liquidising assets in order to fund currently uh, your activities, that's not good. In fact, it's awful. So this needs to be dealt with. Um, I do want to say one thing in relation to the racing industry, horse racing industry as well, which is obviously a critically important industry across the country, employs so many people, particularly in rural Ireland, and also has tangibility out into so many other sectors and so many other people who are working in it. But I want to say this quite clearly, because issues have been raising their heads in this. We need a sectoral employment order in relation to people who are working in this industry. Too many people are not being well paid in some cases not being treated well. They love horses, they love the horse racing industry. And we have a very good name abroad, but we also need to treat workers right. So Minister, I would implore you to work with your colleagues in government to bring in a sectoral employment order in that sector alone. 
to ensure that all people who work in the industry are protected, are paid proper wages and are treated properly. Thank you.